Hey everyone, Christian here, and I'm going to do a palm review at my friend's place. Uh, this is Iphanes Horda. It, it probably has a common name, but it's never used. I would just call it the Horrid Palm because of the spines, but it is actually very pretty otherwise. So Iphanes is a genus native to mostly the Caribbean and northern South America, and <clears throat> this one in particular is native to Trinidad and Tobago and in northern coast of, say, Venezuela. And it is a uh, solitary palm that is, as you can see, is quite spiny. Let's get a little look here. So you can see, right, even on the, the terminal leaflets there, you stick your leaf underneath, stick your hand underneath a little too far, and you will have a needle in your uh, in your hand. So this isn't the biggest specimen, but it's a decent size. You can see that even the new spear there with spines coming out. And uh, this one's probably three to four years old at least. It might be growing a little bit slower because it's in uh, some shade, but it is in a, a perfect little habitat here. Um, I actually used to have one of these at uh, my old house in Venice, and it did actually got through some of the freezes that we had in 2010, 2011, barely, but it survived the upper 20s. Um, so it, uh, you know, it isn't a very popular palm in the landscape trade because of all its spines. Pretty much everything about it has spines. You can see the petioles are heavily armed. The leaves are heavily armed. The spears are heavily armed. The only thing that's not heavily armed pretty much are the seeds. So, um, you know, it is not very, uh, you know, user friendly when it comes to touching it. But this will get, um, you know, these can get 30 feet tall plus. I've seen them, you know, in habitat uh, get to that size and some other, there's a couple other species in the genus that are also quite pretty. So it's it was also synonymous with the species Iphanes caryotifolia, meaning it has uh, foliage that is similar to caryota. See how it has the primorous leaflets where the, it looks like someone cut it off with like a serrated knife. And uh, that that's, you know, natural. That's how it, it, that's how it grows. But it has almost like this fishtail sort of leaf going on. And uh, that's pretty cool, They're like nice and broad, like real thick and leathery. I'm like really kind of nervous about stabbing myself in the thumb when I'm touching the thing. The top of the leaves is where you can actually touch it. So, you, you know, if you find one, that's the only safe place to pet the palm. You don't want to touch the trunk. Uh, you'll be picking needles out of your fingers for quite a while. So this palm's a little, is, is somewhat tropical. I'd say it's definitely a zone 10. You can probably get away in some real protected nine areas. Um, I see, I've seen it pretty much almost die at 28 Fahrenheit and I'm sure it'll, it, it'll burn um, in any sort of frost, but it will, it will, it's a fast grower, it will come back. Just anything that's really below upper 20s is really just gonna freeze it out completely. Um, you know, with it being native so close to the equator and uh, you know, being living in a tropical area, it's not, not too surprising that this is a zone 10 plant. So I, I can't really get, without touching, without stabbing myself, but maybe I can get a little picture of the base there. But uh, you can see it's, you know, it's pretty, pretty spiny everywhere. So the seed is, uh, is, is round, kind of marbly with like it, some indentations in it. Kind of looks like a, a warty marble. And uh, the fruit is kind of round and usually turns red. As far as I can remember, it's been a while since I've actually had fruit. I've gotten seed. But um, it, it wasn't that hard to germinate. Actually, I had an, I had an ex-girlfriend that, uh, that, went, that was uh, going out into uh, the Caribbean and finding variations of these uh, species in the genus. She gave me some seed and some small plants, and uh, you know, it was one uh, one from Barbados, which I thought was pretty cool because Barbados is naturally a little bit uh, has less rain. Seems to want to these they would seem to handle more drought, and it did. But this one here is a fairly tropical in its requirements. So um, yeah, the the size of it is really, yeah, literally about the, about a half an inch um, in diameter. The seed, and it's it seems to germinate pretty fast. It likes a it doesn't need to have a fast draining medium. They seem to do okay in some fairly swampy conditions. So, um, you know, you don't have to be too picky about where it grows. It seems to be okay as long as it's getting water. You don't want to let this uh, sit out and drought too long. So, um, you know, just treat it like a tropical palm, which is what it is. So, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to think what else is uh, good to know about the plant. I mean, <clears throat> it's like I said, it. I've seen these growing in Southwest Florida, all the way up into Sarasota. I believe there's a couple in Tampa, but um, you know, these grow well in all over Miami. And, uh, but I wouldn't, I don't think this would do well. And there might be a few in Orlando at Lou Gardens because the curator there's 
a badass and uh, <laughs> he knows what he's doing and probably is good at knowing when to protect it and whatnot. So um, also right down below there, you can actually see a bunch of volunteers. And I'll get into what a volunteer is when it comes to palms and, other, and probably other plants as well. I imagine that's probably the same sort of situation. So, um, but yeah, that's about it. I wish I had more, I wish I had a larger palm I could help you. I could, I could help, I could help describe. Um, but this is, you know, it's hard to find a, a large specimen of this plant outside of like old botanical gardens. So as you can see, my friend loves his diversity in plants. So he has bromeliads and other things around. And uh, so, yeah, if you like, if you like the spiny hoarded, ho spiny and hoard types of palms that people will not touch or bother, this is the one to go with. Uh, not good for children um, or blind people. I would not recommend uh, growing this. But uh, the foliage is pretty cool, like I said. Obviously, the terminal, it has a little bit of color on the underside. You can see it has some, a little bit of silvery, but not much. It's kind of dull. But uh, anyway, yeah, that's about it for the uh, for Iphanes horda. Um, sorry, I'm fighting off mos uh, little mosquitoes here. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, if you're new to the vlog, go ahead and subscribe, and you'll see many more um, palm reviews like this. And uh, we do go live streaming a lot, and you can turn the notifications on to see when we get that live stream, when that live stream starts. And if you have any questions about Iphanes, uh, go ahead and leave them down below, and I will get to them as soon as I can. And thanks for watching, everyone.